Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to another battle report. Um, this is a 2250 battle uh, on Universal Battle. Um, and it is the second round of the Clash of Claws um, tournament, which is a US based tournament run by Mike Settlemeyer. Um, and in this round, I was facing off against uh, Kaylin, Kaylin McMillan, uh, who is a Ratkin player, which is unfortunate uh, as I was playing Ratkin. So. <laughs> We had quite the unit strength on this board. I think he had 36 unit strength. So, and I had possibly more because I had more hordes. So, 60 plus unit strength on this board was a bit crazy. Um, unfortunately, uh, because you set your list for this tournament and you don't change it, um, I did have my Rackin list of suck. And he didn't. He kind of was playing almost the list that I would wish that I had played. Um, I'll talk about it in a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. It sounds like I'm making excuses, isn't it? <clears throat> so, this is my racking list of sucks. So, this is the list that I came up with. I still think it could work. I've got to be honest. Um, but you need to play it very carefully because there is a lot of big hordes on the board. So, there are four hordes of tunnel slaves. There are two hordes of shock troops. One with a brutal sharpness. Two hordes of blight. And one of which has the Matquart Potion of the Caterpillar. Uh, two troops of Claw Shots. A weapon team with the Piercing uh, upgrade. So that's uh, uh, Breath Attack. Um, a Warlock with Bane Chan and the Inspiring Talisman. Don't forget he has Native Lightning Bolt. Um, incidentally, Bane Chant 3. Does anyone else get Bane Chant 3 now in, in 2019 now that the Black Iron Crown is gone? I think that, you know, it, you know, it rarely misses, it's great. Uh, Swarm Choir with the Loop of Darkness and the Demon Spawn with Wings. So I've talked about this list before because I played it before and lost before. Um, I, I don't think I need two Hordes of Blight is one thing. Um, you know, you can use those points elsewhere. Tunnel Runner's formation is fantastic now, which is worth swapping in for something. Um, similarly, uh, I think two, two Shock Troops. Shock Troops are amazing. Um, and regiments rather than halls of tunnel slaves are, 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 are quite effective. So let's have a look at. Oh, I had a night terror as well. There you go. I did have something from COP19. Well done, me. Um, so let's look uh, at uh, Kane's list. So the racking list of not suck. Uh, so he had three regiments of tunnel slaves, two hordes of tunnel slaves, two hordes of shock troops, uh, which he'd put brutal strength on one and then fire oil on another, which is five points, isn't it? Um, Incidentally, with the COP19, I think the Orcish Skull Pole is a much better 5-point item than anything else. I think it's fantastic. It gets Brutal and then you reroll to see if you get Brutal again. It's great. A Horde of Blight. A Horde of Brutes with Brew of Courage, which I think is uh, a great addition. Good unit, Brutes. Um, low Nerve, but oof, punch. A Horde of Nightmares, who I think are the most over unit in the Rackin army. Two Weapon Teams. Two hordes of tunnel runners with a cat. One has got the caterpillar potion, a night terror, which he's given the inspiring talisman to, and those form the formation turbo runners, which gives the tunnel runners who are already speed nine, I think, speed eight, speed eight, um, speed eight, crush one, thunderous one, nice unit, uh, hits on threes, Wait, five defense, is it five or four? I'm not sure if they're strong anyway. It gives them fury, and it gives the night terror rallying one. There's a lot of rallying in his list. Um, yeah, I think it's a nice list. It's balanced. Uh, got my views about nightmares, but there you go. Okay, let's see how we go. No, he what he did specifically say is that he's trying to run lists without the demon spawn, um, which I think's uh, interesting because I think he's a great unit. He's the only flying unit they get. Um, we also both had uh, the Santa. I've not put him on this one. Uh, he's in the last battle report from here, but the Santa was a special unit for this tournament. Santa was a Melee 3, Defense 5, 7 attacks, 15, 17 I want to say. Um, hero character, he has Inspiring, uh, no crushing. Um, he had a move of 7 I think. any case, um, he had a special ability which gives um, all the units within 6 inches of him either Pathfinder, Elite or Vicious for that turn. So yeah, it kind of makes it like a 2500 list with a hero that's strong in the middle of it. But this is the battlefield. So it had two high six forests. I mean, it's a pretty standard battlefield we see uh, these days. Two high six forests, 
to height two hills, to height floor four blocking things, a flat piece of terrain, a height zero piece of terrain, and two height one walls. So again, you know, the left hand side of the battlefield is kind of irritating, so no, no one's going to want to go there particularly. Although with units with armies this big don't really have a choice you have to go somewhere because they're so huge but there's a clear right hand flank here on the right hand side of that black, uh, piece of uh, blocking terrain um, and then a kind of central melee area so you can see what's going to happen so the scenario went more uh, we um, were told to go for was invade so invade uh, you have to get more points or more, more unit strength I think points, unit strength, points yeah, over the center line than your opponent uh, pretty simple it does give a heavy advantage to um, whoever gets turn one, I think. And particularly with armies that are this large, or have got a lot of units to take off. Elite armies not so much, flying armies not so much, but uh, this is rats versus rats. So <laughs> this, is what it, this is what it looks like when you have two giant horde armies deployed. Um, so we'll start with his unit. So these are his, are his tunnel slaves, kind of distributed across the battle line. Those are his shock troops. Uh, one in cover, one behind the regiment tunnel slaves. The blight on the right hand side there. His brutes behind some tunnel slaves. They are high too, but I haven't really got any shooting apart from the claw shots. Um, we'll talk about those in a minute. Those are the nightmares. Um, on the right hand side we've got the tunnel runners and his nightmare. Nightmare? What's it called? Night terror. I've put NM but it's NT. Night terror on the right hand side. Um, and there's Santa and the two weapon teams in the middle. So then my deployment. I have four hordes of tunnel slaves, as you can see, uh, in front of which I put some claw shots. Now, what was in my head, if I can explain this, was the last game where um, I just sat my claw shots behind a hill and tried to shoot things. And what all my opponents said was, you just need to get them up on a hill as soon as possible. So I saw the hill in the middle and thought, right, I'm going to get them up on that hill. It, I. So it, the reason I deploy like this is because I can get the claw shots 50% on the hill and then pop the tunnel slaves in front of them. And that should work. Um, but it is quite central. I think it might have been better deploying them into that field on the left. But there you go. Here you live and learn. Um, here's my shock troops. Uh, I put my blight behind the tunnel slaves uh, in the forest. And uh, there's my night terror. My other blight on this flank. Uh, here's my Warlock and my weapon team, and here's Santa and the Demon Spawn out on the left. So my plan here was to get the claw shots on the hill, put all of my tunnel slaves in front of my units, advance forward, and then try to get some angles on what he's got. But you can see he outnumbers me. Um, I think, do we do we, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 big units, not counting the Nightmare, 12, not counting the Nightmare, Night Terror. 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got 10. Yeah, so he outnumbers me quite heavily, which is going to make positioning for me quite difficult. And that's because he took those nice, cheap, cheap, cheap 60 point tunnel slave regiments. Um, so yeah. Um, that was the deployment. Oh, and obviously my plan on the left was to pop Santa and the Demon Spawn uh, to flank up the left hand side to try and get some. Uh, some positioning on the hordes that he's got there on the left. Conscious that while I'm quite disparaged about nightmares because I think they're really expensive, um, they do have uh, a decent amount of breath attacks. Um, and he's got two weapon teams there as well, so if I could at least pick them off, that might be useful. He's also got brutes who, while very strong, are kind of a glass cannon, so it might be nice to try and shatter that with them. So that's where we are. Oh, I've got my swarm cryer. There he is. Okay, so this is mm, uh, his turn. So he won, he won first turn, and he decided to go first. So this is the rats that don't suck. And that's pretty much what he did. He went forward, uh, because there isn't a lot of room to do anything else apart from go forward. Um, the brutes did shift across the left to meet the, the, the threat from my uh, demon spawn. And then his tunnel hit right, so his uh, night terror popped down the left-hand side. The right-hand side, rather. And this is where they ended up. He doesn't have any shooting that can reach me at this point. So this was the end of his turn. Okay, so my turn. First one. So I shoved these... This, this was my plan, remember, to put these hordes forward on the hill and then put the claw shots behind them and then try and do some shooting. Uh, there you go. Uh, while the hordes held off the enemy. 
Likewise, these hordes move forward right up into the battlefield um, to try and provide some meat to cover me. And then my kind of my hammers moved up behind those anvils. I popped the warlock into the woods to give him some cover along with the weapon team, and uh, I put my night terror off to the left just behind those rocks to avoid him being charged, but put him in a good position where he could position himself for the next turn. And as planned, uh, Santa and the demon went up the left hand flank. Alexa, ooh. Uh, I did have some shooting. So, my uh, lightning bolt and breath attack unleashed upon this shock troop horde and really showed them who'd boss uh, with a one wound. Good job. Okay, so on to my opponent's turn. So, he shuffled this horde forward. I bet he didn't want it to get flanked, which is great. He's only a tunnel slave horde, but to get flanked by a demon would probably still wipe it out. Um, so he just popped it by in the house so that I couldn't see it. These brutes moved back a little bit so that they were out of the charge range of the demon. Um, and then, yeah, positioning cock up, I guess. Is it? Well, I guess I was let down a little bit by my tactic, wasn't I? Because I had to put that those tunnel slaves up on that hill. Um, but it does mean that there's two regiments and a horde, one of which is going to flank me. Um, so it's not bright for them. So them triple charging those tunnel slaves meant that the shock troops could single charge that horde. Um, so the nightmares then moved over to provide some covering support. Uh, that is the blight and a regiment of tunnel slaves. So the tunnel slaves regiment is unfortunately flanking my uh, tunnel slave horde there. Looking at it a little bit more sensibly, I might have positioned them so the rock was there. Uh, 2020 hindsight. So they're moving out of the way allowed the two tunnel runner hordes on the right hand side to charge my slaves on the right there. So I took a photo of what it looked like uh, when all this was done just because it's quite neat. Oh yes, and then a nice move. So his night terror then moved down in front of my shot troops so they basically can't do anything because they're so wide they have to charge him next turn. A little bit of a sacrificial lamb. And that's what I find that night terror is good for. I mean he's only 11 13 but he is a very nice uh, road, like a speed hump. So this is what, I, this is what it looked like at the end of it. I thought it was just quite neat. It looks like a whoop. His troops have just locked onto mine. So there you go. So, unsurprisingly, uh, um, well, surprisingly actually, because, well, three hordes died, which is uh, not that surprising, uh, but this one didn't. Yay! Super tough horde of uh, tunnel slaves um, in the middle there, who survived a blight and a flank from some tunnel slaves. So, well done them, I'm so proud. Uh, he then took a pot shot with his. Um, nightmares on uh, one of my claw shot units who took three wounds but you can see um, his repositioning once he'd done that combat so 17 points of damage they took those tunnel slaves and only 21 22 so he rolled really low but everything else isn't looking too good basically my entire chaff line has just been wiped out uh, by over <laughs> you know significantly overwhelming numbers and I think I probably should play that a little bit more cautiously, but there you go. It is what it is. Um, so, on to my turn two. This is turn two. Wow. Um, so, unsurprisingly, that horde had to charge his Night Terror on the right there. And my Night Terror um, just popped himself in front. I didn't want to get double charged next turn, so I popped myself in front of the other, one of the Tunnel Runner hordes there in the same fashion that he did. Uh, and I then moved uh, this weapon team and Warlock over so that I could take pot shots at the other horde of night uh, uh, tunnel runners. So the heavily wounded tunnel slaves went into there wasn't I think there wasn't enough room to go into the tunnel slave regiment and have the warlock there. So I went into the blight with them. So all this movement allowed my blight to go into his shock troops. Now another, just an, I'm still I'm in an army about, so this tunnel slave regiment he's put in front of my claw shots, I could shoot over them, um, but I saw the opportunity to just kind of get rid of them. Because any time they charge me, they're going to take off my shooting. So, and I had a flank, so I thought, do I do 10 shots ranged, or do I do 15 shots, 15 hits? So 10 shots are ranged on 4s, or 15 hits on 5s, and 2s. Anyway, I went with the melee option. Um, uh, and then my Blight, who have Caterpillar. Um, do they have Caterpillar? I'm not sure those ones do, actually. Anyway, 
went into that small regiment of tunnel slaves there who were shielding his shock troops. Uh, I just moved my shock troops up ready for counter charging. And so I'm quite moved across. And then I thought I was being very clever here. I thought I was being extremely clever because I found this gap in all of his lines of sight and popped my demon spawn and Santa into the middle of it. So right in the middle of his troops, but nothing can see me. Uh, which I thought was pretty clever. Um, so this result, so the Tunnel Slave Regiment died on the left. Um, only three points of damage, um, but I did get a waiver on those Tunnel Slaves, which is... Mm, yeah, not feeling special about it. Um, I did uh, 11 points of damage on the Shock Troops from the Blight, that's pretty great. But uh, unfortunately nothing more. Um, we did four points of damage onto his other blight with my tunnel slaves. Um, my knight terror did one point of damage. Well done, chap. One of your three attacks. Good job. Uh, it strips their thunderous, you know, little things. Um, and five points of damage from the uh, weapon team and the warlock onto the other ones, which is uh, better than expected. From only, from only, I think it's 15 and fours and fives. Fours and fours. Yeah. 15 or 4s and 4s. Well, that should have been a bit more than that, shouldn't it? Maybe not. I'm not good at maths. 5 points of damage. And then, of course, I killed his Night Terror. Which is okay, except it opens me up to a lot of pain. Next turn. So, on to his turn 3. So, this was my mouse gag. I thought I was so clever. Look, I've popped my troops and there's no line of sight. There's no line of sight, but um, there is like... Uh, a horde with 18 breath attack and then two 10 breath attack uh, weapon teams just sitting there. That's what, 38 points of breath attack just sitting waiting to shoot you. You moron. And I didn't even put them into the woods. I just... Oh. Stupid. Dumb. Yeah, and then the brutes turned around ready to uh, finish me off the turn after. Um, My blight got multi-charged by Tunnel Slaves, Hindered, and um, his Shock Troops. I think Santa went into this weapon team because it's a flank. And then, um, obviously his Shock Troops countercharged my Blight. This poor beleaguered unit of, um, of Tunnel Slaves, who's already got 17 points of damage, and was multi-charged by, flanked him by Tunnel Slaves and Blight in the front. And he charged one unit of tunnel runners into my night terror. Goodbye, night terror. Um, and the other one went into my shock troops. And this is where everything ended up. So, uh, nine points of damage onto the demon spawn and wavered him. So, there is at that point nothing I can do for you, son. You're gone because you've got brutes rear charging you next turn. Oof. Rear charging. If, if the brutes don't rear charge you. Then the uh, the nightmares will. So whatever happens, it's not it's not a pretty picture for you. It's a very minimal two flanks at the very minimum. And Santa's there like that, going ho ho ho. Sorry, son. Um, but the blight held off two hordes, which I was really impressed with. Eleven points of damage and uh, and nothing else. So good for them. Uh, yeah, Santa chomped up my claw shots there, which was uh, unfortunate. But there you go. Uh, this blight held off. 12 points of damage, but held off the um, shock troops there. And in, in the, the achievement of the century, he double wand um, my, uh, my my tunnel slaves on the right here. So, the, you know, the Ubermensch unit here just basically uh, survived being flanked twice and a horde of light in the face twice. I think they had something like. 32 damage or 24 damage like that by that point, but they managed to help double on it, which was, you know, quite fun for everyone. I think <laughs> might be fun for him. I think it was fun anyway. Um, and we took, obviously, my night my night terror died and took seven points of damage from his uh, tunnel runner there, which is okay. Seven points there are 22 nerve units, so survivable. And that was the end of my turn three. No, his turn three. Alright, then on to my turn three. Now, at this point, you know, it's it's a bad situation, but I'm thinking it's not entirely insurmountable. I, you know, with some clever play, the main problem I've got is this unit at the back, because even if I manage to, you know, do well against the hordes I'm facing in the front, um, he's still got two hordes there at the back, and one of them's got breath attack. Um, so I needed some clever play 
to kind of get myself out of this hole. And you know me, I'm all about clever play. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. Okay. So, um, Santa seeing a desperate situation, um, gave a hearty handshake to Demon Spawn and uh, ran into one of the weapon teams. Got some nice triple attack action. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we multi charge this shock troop horde. So, my shock troops and Blight multi charging his shock troops. I felt quite positive about this. Um, likewise, my Blight into his sh other shock troops. They've already got 11 points of damage. Surely, surely, lads, we can do something here. Um, Realising that putting a bunch of tunnel slaves, despite their, you know, <laughs> uber double wanting, um, I think it was two double ones. I think was it? No, they survived the first one, double one, the second one. So, um, the, I wasn't going to do anything to the blight, but I might have a chance of wiping out these tunnel slaves. A horde onto a regiment, you know, I feel good about that. So we uh, counter charge them to enable them to do that. The um, Warlock and the weapon team move down to continue charging, so I can only charge one unit of his uh, tunnel runners uh, with my shock troops on the right, so fire support for the other one. So yeah, went into the heavily damaged one um, to see what we could do. This is where we ended up. So, um, the shock troops managed to kill one of the tunnel runners and then backed up a bit. That's a good result. My hope here is that we can survive another charge from these um, tunnel runners, I backed up and they were out, they were in my front, so they weren't. It wasn't a flank. Um, Twenty something, eight, twenty six, twenty two. It's a lot of attacks, um, but it is on fours. Yeah. But they have got their thunderous back, so it's fours, fours and twos. It's a risk. It's a risk. Um, the weapon team of Warlock only managed to put two points of damage onto them, which was disappointing, to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. That's what happens with dice. Um, disappointingly, the uh, tunnel saves, of course, they were hindered, uh, but they did put seven points of damage onto the regiment, but didn't manage to waver or break them at all, which means they're going to die next turn. Uh, my Blight did manage to kill the shock troops, which was great. Good job, Blight. Um, uh, of course, the weapon team died instantly. Uh, Santa squashed him. And then I shot the tunnel stage in front of me, desperately trying to get rid of them so I could do something useful, and didn't do any damage because... Oh, is it four points damage? Anyway, they still weren't wavered, so it kind of sucks for that weapon team. Uh, for that uh, uh, set of claw shots. Not a fan of claw shots. Uh, very disappointingly, didn't manage to, didn't manage to break the uh, shock troop unit, despite having shock troops and blight in the face. Uh, we did do 13 points of damage, uh, but didn't roll well on the nerve check. And yeah, so on to turn 4. So, okay, it's turn 4. Yeah, I feel very sad about this. So the brutes uh, destroyed my uh, very expensive and now completely useless, useless demon spawn, which was disappointing. Um, would the nightmares then turn around to provide some fire support? He backed up his heavily uh, wounded um, shock troops uh, just to give them some space and put the tunnel slaves into my wounded blight. So the blight have already got 11 points of damage on them and I think he thought he could probably just wipe them out which is probably... Um, well it's a risk. I think it's 25 attacks. It is hindered as well. 25 attacks? 20 attacks? It's a lot of attacks but they're on fives and there's no crush or anything like that. Um, there you go. We'll see how that goes. And he moves his weapon team around. Um, tunnel slaves. Uh, I think we're back in here. I don't. I don't think Santa could see. I'm not sure. I don't think Santa went in. And if he did, well, we'll see. Um, then a hinder charge from his slaves into my blight, and he desperately tried to finish off this uber unit of tunnel slaves, who been there. Don't forget, since turn two, and it's now turn four. And I'm surprised a ton of runners on the right went into my shock troops. Fingers crossed for me there. Now at this point I can apologise. Uh, it was obviously quite tense and I forgot to take a screenshot. So I've recreated it for you using the magic of coloured boxes. So his units are blue and mine are red. I think this gives you a quite nice idea of how screwed I am. Um, because you can see the overwhelming numbers. And if you look at the clarity, that's quite unclear. I have to explain everything. 
and very clear if i could be bothered i might do all battle reports like this but there you go i can't be bothered so tough on you um this is where they ended up so yeah unfortunately my shot troops did not manage to stand up to the tunnel runners on the right hand flank very disappointing for me uh, that flank has now completely collapsed and all hope is lost um the uber unit of slaves was unfortunately killed they had a poor life and a poor death a good death no global death no one's gonna write stories about them they're rats they can't write um uh, my tunnel slaves, uh, tunnel slaves i think that's a shock troop no it's not it's a blight why have i put tunnel slaves 13 apologies the unit says 13 behind it. it's actually some blight um and uh, they took 13 points of damage. Oof. How many did they have before? 12. They took one point of damage. Not oof. One point of damage with Tunnel Slaves uh, and didn't break. Bravo, chaps. And then I'm not sure what happened here, but the Claw Shots didn't have any more wounds the next turn than they did in the previous turn. So either he woofed his roll or he, oh, possibly we forgot to roll it. I can't remember. Um. And then his Nightmares and his Weapon Team put 9 points of Breath Damage onto my Shock Troops. Ouch! Uh, and of course the Brutes just kind of stomped all over my Wavered uh, Demon Spawn. Very sad. I don't want to talk about it. No, I, I just don't want to talk about it. Right, and unbelievably, the Tunnel Stage managed to kill the Blight on the left-hand flat. Well, which is, you know, they had a 12 points of damage, but that's quite surprising. They've still got 20 three nerve by that point because they've got another horde next to them so a hindered charge from some tunnel slaves managed to kill them which was yeah well it's kind of a metaphor for this whole battle um so on to my turn four the final countdown -da 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 -da. so um i managed to pivot my tunnel slaves into his shock troops there who have 13 wounds felt good about that um santa and these tunnel slaves multi-charged his tunnel slaves couldn't really do anything else um, and the weapon team moved back so that I could see his tunnel runners, but they couldn't see me. Um, to try and shoot them off the board. That's where we ended up. Back to screenshots. Good job. Um, so as you can see, we managed to kill that shock troop, which is great for me. Um, unfortunately, I've then got brutes, tunnel slaves, weapon teams, nightmares. <clears throat> Come on, lads. You, 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 can, you can do it. Um, I have no idea what the claw shots did. I, 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 they probably shot something, I'm going to guess. Uh, but there is no more damage, so nothing happened. We managed to kill the Tunnel Slaves with my Blight, um, which is great. But again, not looking great for them next turn. I have put Santa behind them, so hopefully that Horde of Nightmares can't rear charge them. So I blocked that off. Uh, but I have got a Horde of Blight in the face next turn. And we put an extra, I think, five points of damage onto these Tunnel Runners. But again, didn't manage to wave or break them, so... Oof. Onto my opponent's turn five. Uh, yeah, multi charge from brutes and slaves. Onto my shock troops. Urgh, who then died? Yeah, I think the screenshots got a little bit more sporadic now because it was just quick turns and there's not a lot to show. Unfortunately, they died. Uh, these guys went into my claw shots and finally took them off the board. Uh, double charge. From uh, the Blight and his uh, Tunnel Slave Regiment into my Blight. Uh, but didn't kill them. Hurrah! Well done, chaps. Um, they did a shed ton of damage, though. We'll have a look at that screenshot how much that was. And he just moved his Tunnel Runners up for the next turn. So, yeah. Oh, actually, how much damage was that? So, I went from 12, 13. I think he's one point of damage. One point of damage from those two uh, on me, which is... I think they're hindered, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, hindered charges. And tunnel slaves suck. Um, so my turn five. Um, not having a lot else to do, Santa went on a Santa versus Santa man-on-man -man attack. Just for a bit of a laugh, really, by this point. Uh, Blight went back into his Blight. Um, we, with great glee, managed to finish off the tunnel runners on the right-hand side with my shooters. You take the small victories in situations like this, I think. And then onto his turn six, he basically just kind of clean shop. Uh, so he finished off. So um, I didn't. I think I think I did ten points of damage on his blight, which is amazing from my blight. Good job, lads. But uh, didn't do anything to them. So he just multi charged me. Um, 
and killed me, my last horde. He killed my Santa with his Santa, or possibly with the brutes. I think the brutes might have done for them. Oh, yeah. Um, he shoved these ton of slaves down to the bottom of the board because this is invade, so he needs to get them into my my side. Push these nightmares down, and then very unsportingly, um, kill my weapon team. <clears throat> I think on my turn, or I think I think I, <laughs> I think my uh, warlock killed his uh, tunnel slave regiment. But at that point, I've only got what I've got left on the board: a warlock. Yep. Wow. Well, there you go. And that was the end. I bet you can't guess who won. <laughs> the rats won. So yeah, it was a good game. I really enjoyed it. Ken is a really nice guy, and we've continued to play. Uh, play by email. Um, he's uh, taken me under his wing to show me how to actually play this game, which is very kind of him. He's currently uh, mopping the floor with me using uh, Empire of Dust against my elves. So good fun. Uh, good to see a Ratkin force um, being played well. Lots of nice angles, though I didn't really provide much uh, competition. I feel in this game. And that's this. One more round of this tournament. So I have to pay, play the list of suck one more time. So that battle report, I've already played that. So that battle report will come very shortly as soon as I've uh, kind of written it up. Um, and thanks for watching. See you next time on Death by Dragons.